Hello everyone, welcome to Alice Hug Gaming Time. So today, a new community transmission for Battlefront 2 got released about Genosis, including other, it included some other interesting stuff. Before we begin, I just want to say I know I do things a bit differently. I may not read all of the things, but I'll try my best to do as much as I can. Also, if you can hear something in the background, it's probably one of our neighbours who is a woman basically singing, so, yeah. Three o'clock is basically like the dead time. If you film at three, between three and four, it's the worst time to film because noise just goes louder and then it goes down. Okay, let's start. <clears throat> I see the graphical part is back from August. I quite like this. Don't know why they don't do this all the time, but I quite like this. And anyone who doesn't like this, they have a problem with it. And they're stupid, anyway. Incoming transmission. Many of the Galactic Assault maps we have in the game concludes with the final fights that takes place within the weather ventility conflict spaces. The goal behind this is to create as much infersity as we can. We wanted the final stages of a map to feel like an all-out warfare does. This has been achieved by using scenarios that cause both attackers and the defenders to view into the final fight location. We have seen feedback that our community would like us to try and do less of this and instead end with something more open. We have experimented with this already and the final part of Kessel Extraction is a good example. For Genosis, we are looking to take a step further. The final two phases are very open, which, me which makes it an ideal for theoretical base combat and gives us an op gives us its own identity and gameplay experience that is different from what is currently available within Galactic Assault. New vehicle, ATTE. So if I said that wrong, um, the GIF should be up on your screens at this moment, or photo. The, con the centerpiece of Genosis is the ATTE. TE. This six-legged armored walker is a full is fully controllable and plays a vital role on the battlefront. One of the key differences between the ATTE and any other vehicle in the game is that they are dramatically dropped in real time into the bat into the playable space as the battle goes on. This creates a lot of interesting scenarios and we are excited to see how this plays out once Genosis arrives later this month. What this also means is that you will not be able to pick the ATTE from the spawn screen. You will encounter them within the environment itself. One might be dropped in just ahead of you or you might turn a corner and see one ready waiting for you to jump in now the next couple of bits of this includes include the phases um it it goes up to phase three like always but i'm not going to read them because we've got other stuff to do instead i'll show you i'll just put up the pictures up now New log logic log. I don't know if I'm reading that right. A T T E as reinforcements. With the difference in objectives coming into play, we had to change up 
the way reinforcements work. Usually one reinforcement requires one trooper. However, for the second and third phases, one reinforcement will require an ATTE. That means dying as a clone trooper during these phases won't drain your team's tickets. A transition from Trooper reinforcements to ATTE reinforcements happens between phase one and phase two. A picture should be up already. To give all droids a chance to help, we use missile launchers as seen in other as seen in in all other walker phases in a slightly different way. There will be more of these available. The range mu much longer than normal and the lock-on time very short. In addition to this, droids won't be marked while holding the launcher by the other team. However, they won't make the ATTE weekend. Instead, they'll just deal damage. Genosis Sandstorm Fighting through a desert and storm is one of the most iconic scenes from Genosis and something we really wanted to recreate. The standstorm will occur during the transition from phase 2 to 3 when the final headcraft troop transport has been, de been destroyed. While fighting through the sandstorm, visibility is heavily reduced and even when you're fighting in a complete open area, you'll feel like a close range gameplay. Running through the storm with the blaster bolts, flying everywhere is a great experience and, def and definitely something which adds to the unique gameplay experience that Genosis will offer. So here's something the article on Battlefront 2 did not include. New vehicle, OG9 homing spider droid. <laughs> As the clones fight their way through towards the tubers that they will have to clear out a few homing spider droids. These droids will deal significant damage to both ATTEs and troopers if they're not taken care of. Their presence means that the ATEs can't just blindly keep walking through towards the next objective. Quite interesting. That's where it gets interesting. Upcoming update. Genosis will release later this month alongside the Battle Genosis update. We've got more to talk about starting with vehicles and then on to Obi-Wan Kenobi himself. As always, please do leave your feedback in the comments Blah, 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 blah. Um, but one last thing, before we sign off, we thought we'll give you a bit of a behind the scenes glimpse of some of the work in progress shots of Obi-Wan Kenobi, and then they give us a robe appearance of what we will be getting. So one we can safely say that this is definitely, Obi-Wan's default appearance will definitely be the episode 3 look. And secondly, now this is going by leak before, basically saying that Genosis will only be Galactic Assault. And how they were talking about on the article, which I'll leave down below on the Battlefront 2 website, really looks like that they are not going to put this um, map onto other modes anytime soon, which is disappointing because this will be the only map that will not be on different modes and Galactic Assault will only get this map as like an exclusive. It is a shame because they did say different levels, so maybe that means nothing now, but I guess we're just going to have to wait and uh, see. But honestly, um, <laughs> this transmission was quite or why it is interesting to see how an early test of Obi-Wan Kenobi's idle animation looks. But um, they do say here that he will look different for when he actually does um, come. So yeah. Um, he looks very, I don't know, he just looks good to me. 
Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I guess I'll see you on the next one. Peace, guys. See ya.